All right, everyone, so this is uh, episode 14.55, part two. I know these are getting a little bit ridiculous in the, uh, the titles and everything, but uh, there, there is a reason for that, and because I'm not doing episode 15 until I'm getting to the point where the plants have actually reached the blooming stage and start producing some tomatoes. Because uh, we've already pretty much surpassed the vegetative stage until all the stuff happened before. So I wanted to provide this update video because a, another YouTuber, the name will be here on the screen, uh, has suggested to, since the, since the experiment's pretty much shot already, to switch the plants and see what happens. So I did that. Um, let me go ahead and turn this max bloom off here so you can see it a little bit easier. So the plant has not really recovered. That, this was under the white light on the other side, the high bay. Not really recovered. St I'm still showing some leaf curl, you know, what you call physiological wilt and it looks to me like it's some kind of disease. There really isn't any other reason for that. So the plant that used to be under the max bloom side, this one, I moved over to the high bay side. And for the most part, the new growth on top is looking fairly healthy. And I say fairly because some of the growth is having the same kind of wilt. And that's something I may not have noticed when it was over on the other side because I didn't look that closely at it. But since I have moved it over here, these lower branches uh, showing the same kind of wilt that happened on the other one. Uh, and I know everyone's saying, oh, it's be some of the people out there are probably saying, oh, it's because of the white light, you know, it's not adequate. I've grown stuff under the, this high bay light, including this exact plant, remember this is a clone of it, uh, with no problem. As a matter of fact, it was growing better than the, the max bloom side. Uh, the structure of it was better, there's more foliage, it was already starting to produce fruit. Uh, or not fruit, but flowers, and it was doing great. So it's not the spectrum of the light that's causing it. And the reason why I moved these over is because of the the Max Bloom here has a, I think one or two UV LEDs. Now, I don't really think that those are enough to do much because number one, it's so far away from the plant, so the amount of UV light actually reaching the plant itself is, is so minimal. So I haven't seen any changes in the in the new growth. Surprising, it's it's still growing. It's just it's just not growing very well. It's um, you know the new leaves on top they may look fairly green, but they still have the same leaf curl uh, and browning spots on them. Uh, this one here, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of exact I would say exact similarities, but it's it's still showing the exact same signs of the leaf curl, which could progress because uh, as I've noticed. The lower ones have uh, experienced more uh, of that leaf curl. So, yeah, things aren't looking very good. So, in the next experiment, what I'm going to be doing is probably starting from seed again because I had great results from that. It was everything was perfectly fine. I had no diseases or anything, um, no deficiencies, and they were both growing almost identically uh, from the start. So I'm probably going to start over from seed. I can't take clones from this plant or any of these plants that I'm growing because if it has a disease, if that's what it is, that's not going to do me any good to start over with it. I know a lot of people want to see clones, but like I've said in the past, I can you can take clones of plants and they can start out identically uh, when they grow, but they don't necessarily grow exactly the same physiologically because uh, that's just the nature of, of plants. It doesn't matter. You can put them all under the same light and you're going to get different results from clones. I've done it plenty of times. So as long as you're growing from seed and the plants look the same and they're both in the same health uh, and you start out with several plants and weed them out, usually that's going to give you a, a pretty good result uh, in that manner. Or you can do power by numbers. You can grow several plants, but in this case, I'm just doing two. So before I make this video any longer, I'm going to take you over to the other plant that's growing under the light strips. Okay, this is the plant growing under these light strips. Uh, these are QG LED light strips. This is not an advertisement for them in any, any way. Same clone. The plant was growing the same to start with, uh, along with the other ones. Same result as I've gotten uh, with the other plants. The leaf curl, as I showed in the last episode. Uh, the stem is it's pretty, pretty weak and the coloration is not good. It's, it's kind of yellowish, not a very good green color. Uh, a lot of wilt happening, same thing. And these light strips are, are very good grow lights. Uh, these, are, these are a mixture of cool and warm white LEDs and there's some infrared diodes in there. Uh, I've used these to grow plants plenty of times and I've gotten excellent results with these lights. 
it's not the lights, it's not the spectrum. There's something wrong with the plants. They have a disease. Uh, I'm going to continue to let the other ones grow just to kind of see how it plays out, but I don't want to take too much time because this whole series has uh, been set back so far already. So I am going to make uh, I'm gonna make an effort to redo everything, start from seed again. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but I think I'm gonna have better results. And we're gonna pick it up in episode 15 uh, in the blooming phase. So I'm gonna start everything over, I'm not gonna be doing episodes up, up till episode 15. I might do one to kind of show everything uh, once, but after that, it's just gonna be uh, starting at episode 15 where I left off in the previous video. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.